Hi there, I'm Eric, and this is Vita. Thanks for joining us today uh, for this super special video shot on a super special day. Uh, Vita, why is the day so special? Because it was my birthday. That's right. I feel like birthdays should be celebrated for the whole month though. So I'm just gonna throw that out there that we're not out of September, you're not done yet. I, I concur. <laughs> Uh, it's really important to me as a wellness provider to not contribute to the spread of COVID. Uh, and so I, I just tend toward being super cautious. And for my birthday, we stayed in that line and we stayed home and we got to play on our land, which feels amazing. Uh, we did some cleanup of a black walnut tree that has, had been dropping a lot of leaves. Yeah. And that was making me really sad looking at it every morning. So I really wanted to focus on that and get it some support. And if you're new to the Rooted Arts channel, uh, we would love for you to join us on our new journey, which is expanding to work with our new home and the three acres that we have here in the Richmond, Virginia area um, with permaculture and mindfulness. Uh, so make sure that you like and subscribe and keep on tuning in to see what else is going on here. Yeah, join us, please. Okay, so let's talk about our project. Uh, we have this lovely black walnut that's been, as Vita said, showing some signs of discomfort these last few weeks. Uh, and it's unusual to be dropping leaves in late summer, uh, at least in our region. Uh, so this could be caused by a few issues. It could be water or heat stress, uh, or even anthracnose, which is just kind of a general term for a fungal infection. So since we don't know the exact cause, we wanted to take a light approach by first trimming some of the lower branches to provide more air circulation and access, as well as clearing any potential causes of blight by contact. Uh, as much as possible, we're leaving a lot of the plant diversity in place because you never know what you might find. Since we love to compost, like really love it, <laughs> but don't love hauling material from one end of the property to another, cause why? <laughs> I cleared out some dead fire thorn and created a compost nest to help capture all of the organic matter that we're taking out. We'll be dotting the property with compost nests and piles over time to make sure there's always one close by when we need it. So walnuts are tricky plants, especially black walnuts. They don't like sharing very much, so their buds and nut husks and roots secrete a chemical known as juglone, which is toxic to a lot of plants. With a big walnut tree, there can be a sort of dead zone extending up to 50 or more feet away from the trunk, where sensitive plants will either suffer some issues or even die. Oof, and we obviously don't want that. Now fortunately, some plants don't seem to mind juglone, uh, which is great because we want to maximize the planting space we have available here. Some companion plants that seem to do well near black walnuts are elderberries, wolfberries, some currants, and hackberries. And we even have a little volunteer hackberry already sitting right around the drip line. We also plan on adding in some colorful bulbs like daylilies, iris, and some nitrogen fixing perennials and some self-seeding annuals because we hate planting over and over and over again. Uh, now our goal is to marry all of these plants together into a complementary planting or guild to provide shelter and food for birds, pollen for the bees, and something to munch on for us. Now if you're new to the concept of guilds and permaculture, I highly recommend reading Gaia's Garden by Toby Hemingway, uh, which we're using as a guide to help us on this project. Uh, I'll put a link down below in the description. Oh, and the toxicity from the black walnut extends to the branches and leaves too. So we're gathering these up and mulching them separately as we don't want to accidentally end up making plants sick by spreading it somewhere else in our garden. In the end, our workday was cut a little short when some small ground hornets let us know we were bothering their home just a bit too much. <laughs> Luckily, no one got stung and most of what we wanted to accomplish got done. <laughs> so in our last video, you got to meet our dog, Grace, and today, our cat, Lancelot, is joining us. I'm not sure if you can totally see him in the frame, but he's definitely right here next to, next to me. Lancelot is a gift that came with our home. 
uh, we arrived and he was here and greeted us and said, why has nobody been feeding me in the past week? <laughs> and we apologized and have gained his trust he is now the most stalwart of snuggle buddies and <laughs> has begun warming up to Grace a bit too, which I'm super grateful about. Yeah, that yeah. actually happened really fast. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, well, what do you think, Bea? Does the tree seem happier now? It sure does. Yesterday I was so happy. It was like an amazing birthday present to be sitting in the backyard, feel the wind pick up and blow, and not see the leaves fall. Yeah. Because they were falling in like droves before any time the wind whispered. And it was just an immediate difference. Yep, I agree. All right, well, that's it for part one uh, of our Black Walnut Guilds. Uh, please join us for part two. Uh, look for that coming out in the future. Uh, I think that's all for now. Yeah. I love you. I love me. I love us. We'll see you soon. Bye.